Welcome to Cyber Culture Interface. This is a channel where we talk about things that help you to grow your cybersecurity uh, experience and also to improve and start well on your journey. My name is Olali Kainlori. I've been around cybersecurity for a while and I've helped a number of my friends to also kickstart on this journey. And today we are going to be looking at cybersecurity projects for your resume, for your resume. And some of the projects we're going to be considering will include network traffic analysis, vulnerability scanning, project, port scanning project, setting up a SIM, you know, using IDS, IPS, intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system. We're going to be looking at password testers. We're going to be looking at security awareness training, you know, compliance, writing compliance report. These are projects that can look good or make your uh, resume strong enough to give you a full thing, you know, Cyber security employers are looking for hands-on and this project will give you a good hands-on. Today we are going to be looking at one of these projects, which is network traffic analysis. Network traffic analysis is also known as packet sniffing. I know network traffic analysis is the process of intercepting and examining data packets that are transmitted over a network. It is a method used for monitoring and analyzing network traffic for various purposes. And this includes uh, purpose like troubleshooting your network, you know, security analysis, looking at what is going on within your network and seeing what is being sent and received. Then performance optimization. Maybe you are having challenges on your network. You want to know why your network is slow. Maybe you are in an office and you're, uh, they've called, up, called upon you to uh, uh, with complaints that there's a lot of network jam, the network is slow, and you are wondering what is going on. So traffic analysis will help you to look at the packets of data going on or being transmitted within your network and look at exactly what is going on. And for you to be able to do this, there are basic tools that you need for this project, for you to execute this project. The number one tool you need to get is, or resource you need to get is a virtual machine. So we have different kinds of virtual machines. We have VMware, we have the Oracle Virtual Box, we have the Hyper-V, which is for usually for Windows. And it is very essential that you make use of virtual machines for you to set up your project. Why? Because at this point, you don't want to tamper with network that you don't have permission. Because once you launch your network traffic analysis, you are capturing network and you can see things. You can see confidential information. You can see a lot of things going on within the network. So you have to be sure you have permission to launch your network traffic analysis. So for us, for safety purposes, for, for you to avoid contraven contravening, you know, maybe a law or, or getting to legal problems, you can just set up your virtual machines and on your virtual machines, you have different images. One of the images I would suggest you get is a Kali Linux image. So you can get like two or three Kali Linux images or you get a Windows, a Kali Linux, a Ubuntu or different images. There are a lot of them available online. I'm also going to be putting uh, in the description links to how or where you can download these images. So when you set up your virtual machines and you have like three or four different types of Kali Linux images, these systems, you can network them that is give them ip addresses so that you can ping from one image to the other for instance if you are working on a kind of linux you can send a ping to uh to in a to an hyper v to try to a windows image and then you can conduct you know maybe m map scan or do it some kind of scan from one of the image to the other and when this communication is going on within your virtual machine you know within the home lab you set up on your virtual machine you can now capture the traffic you can capture the you know signal going on in between these images and analysis in this way you are safeguarding yourself you are not contravening you know you are not breaking any law you are not going to be getting into any problem because the traffic you're analyzing is within your home lab and if you have a big home lab maybe in your home you have like four or five different devices connected to your hotspot or to your wi-fi uh, modem you can set up a a system in your home and you know capture the traffic going on within your house you can see the traffic between your mobile device and your you know or your router or two devices or your tv you can capture the whatever is going on within your network so the tool is another tool this second tool i mentioned here is the kali linux or any other image you can make it lay your hands on you can get them for free or you can use them in, within the trial period just for you to conduct your project another tool you need is cherry tree cherry tree is an application you know you have both the linux version and the windows version is a note taking application so for your project since you are trying to get a project that you can use for your cv or your for your resume 
you need to take notes you need to capture screen take screenshots of whatever you are doing and you document it so charity is an application that you can use for note taking the very good application i'm going to sh put the link to it in the um in the in the description also uh for another tool you need to make use of here is tcp dump so tcp dump is an application that you use to capture you know traffic the packets of traffic you know when you launch tcp dump you capture packets of traffic going within your system another tool the last one i'm going to mention here is the wireshark which is actually where you can analyze the traffic so after capturing uh packets of traffic with tcp dump you can import it into wireshark and then you analyze it also you can make your make, make use of your wireshark to also capture traffic wireshark has that feature to where you can capture the traffic and analyze it within the uh, wireshark environment so i'm going to be uh putting the link to all these tools and resources within the description and this is a very simple project that you can do as a beginner in cyber security which is going to give you a very good understanding uh, of what going, goes on within a network you can even see things like you know the communication like i mentioned in the last in the video i made when i talked about you know the osi models how computers communicate you remember we talked about sending a scene and an arc message where i can help you see what is going on within let me show launch a wireshark screen for us to see okay so this is a uh, wireshark so you can go to, if you go to wireshark.org you can download your wireshark application here uh for cherry tree to this is cherry tree you know i'll put a link you can see cherry tree you can read about it one key thing about cyber security is that you have to do a lot of reading and research so you have to research on how to make use of these applications or can also go to tcp dump tcp dump website you know is a tcp dump is a command line tool you know that you install to capture your traffic uh i want to show you wireshark let me launch wireshark so that you can see how it comes up okay this is wireshark coming up so wireshark has can capture data or packets from any interface that is on your device on which it is installed you can see here you have the wi-fi interface you have the adapter i have the local area connection so i'm using the wi-fi here right now so i can't also i can just open it and at the same time if you capture a uh, packets or traffic from using any other application you can import it into wireshark from here you know you can open it you can open or you can open uh an already captured you know traffic so let me see what's going on let me just demonstrate it so if you double click on this wi-fi interface let's see what's going on you can see the communication going on the ip you can see internet a lot of information can be seen this is traffic analysis so uh i'm going to be doing a, a subsequent video showing on, on wireshark on how to use wireshark so for now i'm just showing you the website where you can download it and letting us know that wireshark tool can solve uh, can help wireshark tool can help so if this uh if this project is properly done you can document it and make it uh in, let it go into your resume is a good handsome project for heavy cyber security cyber security beginner thank you let us subscribe please subscribe and let us grow this channel big so that we can do more things so that we can get across to more people and get more resources to make uh more videos that will be helpful please like share and subscribe Thank you for watching Cyber Culture Interview. See you in the next project or see you in the next video where I'll be talking about port scanners, you know, as port scanning as a project and vulnerability scanning as a project. Thank you for watching.